Blockchain technology has created new possibilities to make money that you can't do anywhere else. One of these is with flash loans, where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency on the blockchain as long as you pay it back instantly. Like this trader who made over $5,000 in a single transaction. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about three different ways to profit with flash loans in 2024. Talk about which ones are the most profitable and some tips and tricks on how to execute these. I'm gonna explain all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to get the coding skills that you need to make money with flash loans, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about three different ways to profit with flash loans in 2024. So a quick recap on how these work in case you're not 100% familiar. I'm assuming you have some idea of what flash loans are since you click on this video. But basically, they are a technique where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. So wait, what? What does that mean? How does that work? So basically, blockchains support simple transactions and complex transactions. All right. So a simple transaction is basically like if I'm sending cryptocurrency from my account to yours, if I wanted to send you like one Bitcoin, that's a simple transaction that just says, hey, take money out of my account and put it in yours. But they also support complex transactions. Like you can trade cryptocurrencies on multiple exchanges all at the same time, like step one, step two, step three. And that's where flash loans come into play. So basically, you can have a transaction that has step one, take out a flash loan. Step two, do something with it, like maybe trade some cryptocurrency. And step three, pay it back. That's what I mean to borrow the money and pay it back instantly. And this is something that's only possible with blockchains, not anywhere else. And this is something that you can only really do as a developer, which is one of the big reasons that I try to give you an edge on this channel in order to do that. And so whenever you're doing a flash loan, like step one, take out the flash loan, step two, doing something with it, what can you do in this step whenever you borrow the money? Well, one example is like cryptocurrency arbitrage, where you go out and trade different cryptocurrencies for a profit on two different exchanges. All right. So with that being said, let's get into the three different ways to use these flash loans to profit in 2024. Now, before I mention these, um, I also want to say that the techniques that I'm talking about fall into the category of what's called MEV or minor extractable value or maximal extractable value, depending on who you ask. So if you hear that term floating around, these are also three different MEV strategies for 2024. So strategy number one is like what I mentioned a minute ago, which is cryptocurrency arbitrage. Okay, so basically this is where you're buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on another exchange for a profit because cryptocurrency markets are volatile and cryptocurrency exchanges fall out of sync all the time. So for example, you might look at a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and see all the exchanges it's trading on. And you can see there's a slight price discrepancy here. The price is never the exact same on every exchange, which presents an arbitrage opportunity. Now you could try to do cryptocurrency arbitrage by buying something like Bitcoin on a centralized exchange and moving it to a different exchange to sell it. But there's a problem with that. Like the price is probably going to move on you by the time you move the funds and the arbitrage opportunity will disappear. But that's not the case if you're doing flash loan arbitrage in the blockchain, because what you're doing is you're looking at decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and SushiSwap, which are powered by smart contracts in the blockchain. And whenever you do the flash loans, you're borrowing the money and then trading the tokens instantly. The price can't move on you and the transaction is only going to go through if it's profitable. And also the best part of this is you don't actually need any capital in order to do this trade. That's what the flash loans for. You can borrow all the money that you need to perform the arbitrage, do it instantly. It'll only work if it's profitable and it's completely free to you minus the transaction fee that you have to the blockchain. All right, so strategy number two is called sandwiching. Okay, now I'm going to talk about some important disclaimers on why you shouldn't do this here in a second. But basically, sandwiching occurs whenever people are trading on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or SushiSwap. So basically, if they take you know, their cryptocurrency, they tell what they have, they take like, token they want to buy, and they click swap, you might have experienced this before where you try to do that and your transaction fails to go through. Well, that probably means you got uh, sandwiched by a different user. So what does that mean? So basically, uh, these cryptocurrency exchanges are what's called automated market makers. And whenever you buy the cryptocurrency, the price increases for the next person. Okay. And whenever you're attempting to buy, your transaction goes to a temporary place called the mempool. All right. That's a public place where basically all the transactions are, are pending before they actually get included in the blockchain. And everybody can see the mempool. 
So what a sandwich person does is basically they go in and look at the transactions. They see that you're trying to execute a trade. So this is yours right here, this purple one. And they introduce a uh, transaction into the mempool before yours with a priority fee that basically says, hey, I'm gonna try to buy the exact same cryptocurrency ahead of you. That's called front running. And then your transaction will go through and then they're going to back on your transaction. They're instantly going to sell the tokens behind you, resulting in you getting less tokens than you were initially quoted and them making a profit on the back. So it's a sandwich. Like you, your transaction goes in first, they put theirs in before, and then you put theirs in last. All right, so that's how sandwiching works. But I want to talk about something really important here. I don't do sandwich attacks and I don't recommend that you do this either because really it's unethical. It's market manipulation because basically you're trying to manipulate a user's experience who expects to get a certain amount of tokens and that's not actually what they're getting back whenever they do their swaps. So while I am including this on my list, I'm in no way advocating for this strategy. All right, so strategy number three for profiting with flash loans in 2024 is with DeFi liquidations. So what are these? Well, basically, uh, there's lots of savings and lendings apps out there on the blockchain, like Aave, for example, where users can deposit cryptocurrency like a bank, okay, and then take out loans on the other side, just like a bank. And they always have to deposit some cryptocurrency as collateral in order to borrow cryptocurrency on the other side. Now, what's going to happen is for some of these people, all right, whenever they borrow the cryptocurrency and then they don't pay it back or basically their principal position they deposited is no longer enough collateral for the loan, then they are in liquidation territory, which basically means their loan is delinquent. And now the protocol says that, hey, you can be liquidated. We can take all that money back that you deposited, okay? And because this is a decentralized application, it's powered by smart contracts in the blockchain, anybody has access to this. So anybody can process the liquidation not just the platform itself. So a developer can go in there and take out a flash loan to repay back the liquidation, get the profits, and then pay the flash loan back in the same transaction. Now, again, I don't particularly consider this strategy unethical or anything like this, but it does kind of suck that a person is losing money in this case whenever you do the flash loan, but that person also took on you know risk in order to take out this loan in the first place. All right, so those are the top three strategies for profiting with flash loans in 2024. Now, which ones are the most profitable, okay? So by a large margin, sandwiching is the most profitable opportunity out there, which, you know, before I said, I don't do sandwiching and I recommend you do it either because, well, it's unethical and it's probably illegal because it's market manipulation. All right. But then behind that, the second most profitable is arbitrage. Now, I think this is great because there's lots of arbitrage opportunities out there and arbitrage actually helps the ecosystem because it helps bring markets into efficiency. So nothing wrong with that. Now, the least profitable is going to be the DeFi liquidation strategy that I talked about. There's just less opportunities out there. There's still money to be made, but it's a much smaller slice of the pie than these other two. All right, so now let's talk about some tips and tricks for doing flash loans and some different ways that you can actually implement them, okay? So one of the best ways to actually profit with this is to create your own strategies. So picking a strategy like I talked about a minute ago, like arbitrage, for example, you want to learn how to do cryptocurrency arbitrage with flash loans and then start making your own strategies because you don't want to just copy what everybody else is doing because if you do with the exact same parameters, then you either have to be more competitive than them uh, or you're just not going to be able to make any money off of it because they're going to be better than you. But the good news is once you have your skills as a developer to actually think through these things and craft your own strategies, you'll be able to do stuff that other people aren't. So one really easy way to do this is to look at other cryptocurrency arbitrage and just start tweaking the variables, change the tokens, change the exchanges or change the blockchains. And that part of the blockchain is what I want to talk about right now. So the good news is everything I'm talking about works with uh, Solidity, uh, Ethereum-based smart contracts, and that works on many different blockchains like Ethereum, uh, Tron, Binance Smart Chain, any Ethereum Layer 2s, and so many more. And so if you can execute this with the same exact code base across multiple different blockchains, then moving in between ecosystems is going to give you a massive edge. So that being said, let's talk about some different flash loan providers that will allow you to do that. All right. So my number one favorite flash loan provider is Balancer. So what is Balancer? It's a DeFi liquidity protocol, okay? It has a DEX and lots of other applications, you know, built around it, but they have a flash loan feature. So basically, they have all this money sitting in their app and they say, hey, you can flash loan out this money anytime that you want to with our proprietary code here. And we'll let you do it 100% for free and we support all these different blockchains. 
So that's why I like Balancer. It's free, zero fees. It's easy to set up and it's multi-chain. Okay, so if you wanna get started on Balancer Flash Loans today, you can just read through the documentation here. It's a pretty simple coding template that you can pop in your smart contracts and start doing a flash loan today. Now, sometimes Balancer won't support some different chains or like there's different things, reasons why it won't work. It covers most of the bases, but so my backup there is gonna be with Dodo Swap. So Dodo is just another uh, on-chain liquidity hub that's deployed across multiple different blockchains. They have a flash loan feature just like Balancer does. You can see their documentation right here. Uh, now, the Balancer documentation and the swaps there are a lot easier to implement than Dodo Swap is. But again, this is going to work just fine. You just have to tweak some stuff in your uh, you know, code in order to make it work. And this is something I use as a backup whenever Balancer doesn't meet my needs. All right, so that's an overview of three different ways to profit with flash loans in 2024 and some tips and tricks on how to implement this. So now, if you want to get the coding skills in order to do this, then of course, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, but I can show you to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really have to be expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.